Hey guys, it is Clary Berry here. I'm coming at you from my kitchen. This is a little bit different than what I normally do. Um, I'm going to try to show you a little bit more of the food handlings going on here. Um, but really not right now. <laughs> We're just going to talk about, um, since it's since it um, was just the weekend, since it's Monday, um, I want to talk about the weekends. And I, I've been doing a lot better on the weekends than I used to do. Thank goodness, I was doing some horrendous things on the weekends. <laughs> Not really, just just a little bit cheating here and there. But um, you know, I'm starting to get it down. At least the eating out part. Um, I like to stick to places like Denny's. Um, I can do breakfast joints, Chinese, anything like Thai, Indian is usually good. I can do Mexican. I can do even Taco Bell. I can do pizza. Like I said, pretty am any American joint, Applebee's, Chili's, 54th Street, any of it. Um, I can do any of the, you know, Fresh Mix. I love that kind of stuff, like Moe's and Chipotle. I love those places. Pretty much anywhere I want to go, I can go and find a good high-carb option. It may not be perfect. When I go out to eat, I feel like I'm splurging anyway. I'm already splurging a little bit money-wise. And usually you're accustomed to, you know, if you're going to go out to eat, you're going to be splurging a little bit on fat as well. So, you know, I tend to keep that in mind. Obviously, these aren't, maybe wouldn't be great suggestions to do every day on a high-carb vegan diet because they would be too much salt and too much fat. But once in a while, you can splurge a little bit and at least stay mostly high-carb and mostly, you know, raw vegan. So... Um, but not all of these suggestions are going to be raw. Um, even actually, I don't think any of them are. So mostly raw. So um, to start out with, let's start out with breakfast. If you're waking up Sunday morning or whatever, and you want to go get some breakfast, you're with people that want to go to a breakfast place. Um, you can usually do okay with grits. Grits these days, they don't, it, and you can tell them to hold any butter and oil if you want to. Um, grits are usually okay and hash browns as well. You can tell them to go light on the oil if you want to. Um, you can try to get them to do no oil. I don't really know how a lot of those places are yet uh, with you know requests like that. So if you know, leave us a message, leave us a comment and let us know how they are, if they can even do that. I was discussing it with my boyfriend. I'm not even sure if they would know how to cook the potatoes without, you know, or if, they, if, if it would really mess up their grill, whether, you know, I don't know. But anyway, the grits and the hash browns. I mean, I've gotten a double order of hash browns with grits on the side, and oh, it was so good. Um, so, and you can also do the toast. It's usually going to be okay. If you really want something sweet, keep in mind anything. If you're like sitting there like you really want some pancakes and you really want some, you know, um, French toast, really what you're craving is just the, the sweet experience. So take some of the syrup. It's free. You know, put it on your toast. And basically you have French toast, you know, um, if you, even I, like the lady was supposed to bring us some toast and she didn't. And actually I forgot to ask her about that. But anyway, I didn't have any, I was like, oh, I'm really kind of full. I don't need it. I'm just going to pour my, I just wanted the sweet taste. So I poured a little bit of the syrup onto the potatoes and that actually was pretty good. Like they don't soak it up as well, but it was pretty good for what I was trying to accomplish. So that's how I survive at Denny's usually. I could also get by with like a salad maybe someday and I, I think they have baked potatoes, you know, just do some baked potatoes or, you know, salad inside of hash browns, whatever, you know, however you want to switch it up. And they do usually have seasonal fruit as well. So Denny's is, is pretty easy. Um, the other, the next thing I'll talk about is like all the American foods, any of the 54th Street, Chili's, Applebee's, any place like that, you have a variety of options. And the salad and potato option is really good. Depending on how hungry you are, you get one, two, three, four more potatoes, just baked potatoes. Tell them to keep everything off of it. You can get a side of salsa. Uh, might be a little salty, but it shouldn't be that bad. Or a pico, or just even top it with, you can have them just top it with like fajita vegetables, or just top it with mixed vegetables. Um, you can have, like I said, just a salad on the side. Um, I've even kind of mixed the two together before. Um, you can do a lot of um, a lot of different things like with the salads. A lot of times you can just have them, you know, get a good, you know, summer salad or something and have them hold any of, you know, the cheese and the meat and all that stuff and they'll sub it out for you usually so that's not a problem. So you can get a good, 
good big, you know, cranberry apple salad, and you get lucky, you may get some good fruit in there. You could even tell them, you know, extra fruit. They're going to charge you for it, but if you have a good salad with, you know, some apples or some oranges or something, you want an extra, like, or get a side of fruit, you know. Some places have it, some places don't. Um, another thing you can do at any of those American places is, I mean, you could probably just get, like, a pasta, maybe, like, a pasta sauce or a fresh um, vegetable sort of sauce whipped up if you, if you ask them, but I tend to not um, like to go that route too much. I tend to think it's really easy just to go fresh mix. And so, you know, obviously at any place like Moe's or Chipotle or, you know, any any taco place you could do this at, any Mexican place or any American place as well. It's, all, it's really flexible just to get like a veggie fajitas and you can even have them sub out, you know, extra rice. Um, or get some rice and maybe some beans, extra lettuce, extra tomatoes, whatever you want to have it sub out for your sour cream and your cheese and your meat and stuff like that. If you want to sub something out, you can. So you can still have a great, you know, little soft taco burrito, fajita, you know. Um, and like I said, sometimes I'll just have um, the fajita. Sometimes I won't actually make a fajita. Sometimes I'll just have them do like a salad bowl and put rice on it or put everything they would have put on the fajitas, just put it on the salad. So kind of have a fajita salad, taco salad. Um, those are usually pretty good if they don't come with the, you, know, you can just get a taco salad without the, the big fried thing in there. Um, so that's pretty much what I usually stick to, potatoes or some sort of a rice salad fajitas, you know, wrap or a bowl or something. So um, Chinese, Indian, Thai foods, those are all a lot easier. Um, I'm not a, you know, I don't know a whole lot about the different foods, but I know that you can just talk to them and ask them like what's vegan, what's good. A lot of it is in, in like faux places, Vietnam places. You get a lot of really good soups that have no meat of any kind in there, no veggies, no, no dairy, lots of veggies and things like that. So those are great choices to go to, you know, um, Japanese, you can get sushi, you can have, you know, cucumber rolls, from here till the sun goes down and you'll be all right. Like you may not want to eat it every day, but you know, you'll be all right for, you know, once a week on the weekend or whatever. Um, so you can do, um, like I said, veggie soups. You could even do steamed veggie, um, like wontons, dumplings, things like that. Spring rolls, if they have the real spring rolls that are not fried, you know, things like that. You'll find some great, you know, great dishes at Thai, Indian, places, Chinese, Japanese, things like that. So, um, when I go to pizza places, I love pizza. I've always loved pizza. And before I went vegan, I really wasn't sure if, um, you know, pizza without cheese would still be very good, but I've had definitely had some fantastic pizza that, um, has no cheese whatsoever. As long as there's some really good toppings on there and it's good crust, then it'll still be an amazing pizza. So, um, you know, what I like to do is, like I said, no cheese, no nothing, just um, sometimes I'll pick out like a specialty that they have and go with it. There is one where they have kind of like a pesto and pine nuts and spinach and things like that and it's delicious, or it's arugula actually. It is so good. I also kind of like a splurge on the, uh, on the oil just to have that because I'm not having, you know, any meat or any dairy, so it's still kind of a splurge. Or I'll just do like mushrooms and spinach and um, sometimes I'll put jalapenos on my pizza. You know, just as much, as many different toppings as you can. Just fill it up with vegetables. When I go to Pizza Street or someplace like a buffet where it's like unlimited toppings and, you know, or yeah, like ordering the garden fresh. If they have any sort of a veggie or a garden fresh, just say veggie, you know, veggie pizza, no cheese. And, like that's what I do at Pizza Street and it works out really, really well. It's just really good. They put, you know, black olives and green peppers and mushrooms and other things on it and it's really, really good and you can eat a lot of that. <laughs> so, and then also you could do like if the pizza place or any other place has a good sandwich that um, just maybe has like the pesto, it's like an Italian sandwich, just tell them to hold the meat and the cheese and just give you, you know, the sandwich and um, fill it up with veggies, anything you would put on your Subway sandwich. Um, you know, you can do, obviously you could still go to places like Subway and stuff like that. I don't, I just don't really go to those places very often, um, for the whole, you know, yoga mat and the bread thing. I decided I didn't want to go there. So I think that's pretty much it. I just gave you like 
basically my list, my rundown of, you know, what I do when I go out to eat, uh, which I usually do a lot, my boyfriend and I, um, you know, once or twice a weekend usually, because when we get together on the weekends, we kind of, you know, try not to have too many responsibilities since we're both single parents and we're both so busy throughout the week. So, um, yeah, that's that. Um, that's what I did. This weekend I had a really good Denny's um, skillet and we had some sushi and if you want to check on Instagram you can see my pictures of all the food on there. So I decided not to bother putting them up here since you can just click right over there and see them. But it's the same username, Clary Berry. So look for me on there. Leave me any comments. Let us know what you guys do when you go out to eat because you know sometimes it can be hard for the newbies and people like me who are just so used to doing what they do and they would like some new ideas. So let us know what you do when you go out to eat for vegan style and don't forget to eat your fruit guys. Bye!